I'm here at the uh, local Home Depot to show you where to find these uh, parts for this hack for the kayak. Uh, right here, they've got two sizes. These are the small ones, which is six inches, and they're 325. But if you look over here, for 354, you get the 12 inch. And the 12 inch, you can size it, and it's only about a 25 cent difference, something like that. But you can size these. Now these are, that's what they, they, they're, they're calling the strainer tailpiece, all right? Here in the plumbing section. So here's a, here's a drawing. It's actually this little piece right here that they've got in blue, all right? right there right there and they are I mean it's already got a flare so this one right here is 12 inches now I'm going to show you what you can do with this because <laughs> I've got a great little kayak hack for you this is your sort of standard uh, but what I've done here is I've uh, added these um, spacers or actually they're just drinking cups I've add, added those in the bottom of it just to pick it off the bottom just to keep it off the floor because it kept it keeps getting water in it but this is like your standard crate and what I did is I went ahead and put four now I'll still use this if I'm going after like striper uh, and I need a few more poles uh, yeah I can carry this with me but a lot of times when I'm going up here to these local lakes I don't need four poles and all this extra weight back here all right so what i'm doing is i'm trying to lighten the load so that my 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 scuffer holes will work uh right now uh what i'm what i'm having problems with is every time i pull the scuffer hole uh scuffer plugs water comes in so what i'm doing and this is a hack is i'm removing i'm removing the um the crate now i haven't been using these built-in rod holders and this one's got two i've seen some with four but the reason i haven't been using it is is a lack of confidence now when you use this you see how sometimes you get here and that's not very that's not very deep so uh, I'm afraid of losing these poles because I don't stick it in right. This is what I went to Home Depot for, and this will fit right here, okay? And that, that'll that give you a little bit of lift, and now your, your reel can swing more naturally. So what I did is I purchased two. purchase two and that way I've got one on the left one on the right and it has more more tendency now to lean more naturally when I'm trolling rather than the the reel sitting on the top when it was take it out when it was in here sorry when it was in here it just doesn't sit as natural so that's the reason I did that. All right now, these are your standard rod holders that you can buy for buy for your kayak. Now, if you stick this wrong, if you stick your pole in here wrong, it it just doesn't guide in there. Um, you can stick it all the way in here. There, you have to do it like that. But you see how it just doesn't doesn't hold well I didn't like that so what I did is I bought same thing I bought these now I cut this one down a little bit because it was too long but what I do is I stick that in there and then I trimmed it just down to the end of it now and you've seen me use this now I can put that in there when I'm um, trying to get my fish off the hook and that holds my rod really, really nice. Now, if I'm going to troll, I can 
stick them up, stick them off to the side and troll with it. Hey, I hope you like this DIY. You'll find this a lot more convenient when you do it this way. So try it out and I got a few more DIYs coming for you. Stay tuned.